All right, what is up everybody? Welcome back. We got our chicken coop moved. I don't know if you saw that little video. It didn't have anything cool like us actually moving it, but it was one heck of a day. Now that we got the coop where we want it, I have a run built into the coop, right? So the coop is the part where the chickens live, or at least this is what I understand. And then the run is where they have space to go. Based on the standard of square footage that the chickens need, there's plenty inside there for them, but we want a place where they can run around and forage. So what I'm doing is building an extended run. And what I attempted to do before was just use standard T posts. I'm gonna see if I can find one. Yeah, T posts like this, right? Okay. One of these guys you see standard green, but what I found was when I tried pulling the welded wire, we're gonna use a welded wire. I got some on the grass here, right? It's just a little small section, but um, when you pull that, you need something that can hold a lot of tension. So what I'm doing, I got these eight foot treated posts that are gonna allow me to, um, I'm gonna drop those three feet into the ground. They're gonna be sitting up five feet. And then I'm gonna be using a, a come along to pull a lot of tension on the welded wire before I uh, pound in some staples. So check this out. Last night, I was able to use my post hole digger, which I'll show you in a little bit. I dug down three feet and then I was able to drop some of these posts in place, but I still have a couple posts I couldn't get very far because I didn't have a tamping bar. Somebody actually stole it. Uh, so I had to go get a new one last night. So I'm gonna use that so I can break up some of this rocky hard soil and then I'll get back at it and I'll check back in with you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 